Sitting in the sunshine Singing This good time song For oh, my friends We're well, on such a long, long journey And we still have So far to travel And we can make it We're walking Blood Boss Skaggs, turn the two names around, make it B Skaggs and C Blood. Just change the two names around. Now, as far as selling tickets is concerned, Vicky, yeah. you want to call the stations and give them that schedule now? And that's it, so you can push Wednesday. <laughs> you sell Wednesday? Um, okay. Yeah, now, this Sunday, I'm, I, I keep thinking about that. Do you think, I don't know why we don't hold those tickets, because then they're going to say, Bill, you know we're playing Sunday, why are you selling the tickets? So let's leave it at that, and it'll be tomorrow night, and I'll hit the radios with it now, and. Uh, there is no disrespect intended on any part. It's a solution, and uh, I don't think anybody will, every, anybody will get hurt, and I think everybody will gain. Okay? I'll, I'll take care of that. You take it from here. Thanks, Jim. Mm. Bill? Lamb, $1,000? Spare change? They're not going to get out of Boston if I don't give them the $1,000. Don't get out of Boston. Let one of them get out of Boston. Five skags on 13. He's gonna cancel. Oh boy, yeah. Okay. Am I, am I wrong in thinking that 15 minutes ago you said yes, and on the basis of your yes, I called everybody, the marquee is changed, the newspapers have been called, the radio stations have been called, and everything has been done. Now, what you're saying is that you can say something, then change your mind? When did I ever change my mind in all the years that you've known me? Ever. Let us assume that I was misinformed. And then I spoke to you a few minutes ago, and I said, I have a problem with cold blood, 
would you play second? And you said no. I said, fine, I'll talk to them. And I spoke to you back. I said, I convinced them that they would go on second. And I said, I, ask, I have a favor to ask of you. Would the, and I mentioned to you the bonus situation. And I said, at least could we give them the marquee? And you said, no, I've earned the right to headline, and I want a headline. But I couldn't do that because of the time element. But I, I said, and please don't tell me, I'll tell you later, because I've got the people standing in front of the theater right now. I don't know exactly how many, but there are 489. Here, honey. No, 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 wait, did, wait a minute, did you not say to me, that's the way I want it, and I tried to explain it to you, let's give them something, they have been a headliner here many times, I finally got them to agree to come in second to you, would you give them their name in front of yours on the marquee, and you said no, I said, Boz, that's going to make it very difficult for me, I said, this is a special week to me, we're closing the place, we're having nothing but San Francisco groups, could you do that? And you will close the show, because it, it took me a long time to convince him to play in the middle of the night. You said no. And I gave you my feelings. And this is where you and I disagree. When you got my feelings, you thought I was disrespectful. And mister, that's where I think you're wrong. I said, I wish I could tell you to go fuck yourself, but I can't because of the conditions. I want you to play here. It is the final week. It means a great deal to me to have the best of the San Francisco music available. This week, does mean a great deal to me. And the fact that it doesn't rub off on you that way amazes me. But if I didn't tell it to you, then I'm not an honest man. I can be the biggest putz in the world and yell a lot, but I ain't dishonest. And I will always tell you how I feel. We don't have the space. Well, I don't know. No problem. Well, just because you've decided that you'd like to play and we're honest with you and saying there is no room, there's no room. Well, I don't know what to say to that. Except, what you, you know, have to say to that is you respect well, another man's honesty. Well, no, I respect that, man. I respect the fact that, you know, I just wanted to hear from you, man, you know, because we've been trying to get a hold of you for, you know, I weeks. Mean, I've you been on for weeks. You know, and I can dig it, you know, that, that you're busy, man. But at the same time, you know, like this thing's being billed as... as uh, Closing week. Yeah, San Francisco week group. and San Francisco, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah, man. Do you and see I've been here since the fucking yeah. beginning, man. Do you see and any non-San Francisco groups? Well, but I see people like Sal Valentino. I see Grutna, man. And what no, do they got to do with, with I've, I've the heard, whole... I've heard the groups, and I like the groups. It's, it's my... Yeah, well, it's... I've heard Grutna myself, man, and I think they sound like they've been together for about a week, man. Well, we true. outdraw them over in Berkeley, man. That's a I went and saw them, you know? I'm not, I'm not arguing and with I, you. And I looked at the house, and then, I, then we played three nights later at the New Orleans house on a weeknight, man. We got... You know, we got a really good crowd, you know? You know, one of the rights of a producer, that he chooses the shows he wants to put on. And these yeah. are the shows I've decided to put on. I've never seen your band. And I have a right to put the groups on that I've seen and that I like, that I think will bring the public some pleasure. I'm not saying yours won't, but I haven't seen it. Yeah. Well, that's my problem. But I haven't yeah. been here and I've been gone for the last few weeks. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, I don't know. I'd just like to say... Uh, Fuck you and thanks for the memories, man, you know. Really, you know. Maybe sometime, you know, you'll hear us. You know? No, under those circumstances, never, sweetheart. Never. Oh, oh man. Well, you take your fucking attitude, yo-yo, and get out hey, of this no, building. Hey, man, it isn't, a, it isn't a question of that, man, you know. The next time you say fuck you to me, you wouldn't be wearing that jacket. Oh, well, I mean, you said it to me, man, yeah. you know. Yeah. You know what I said to you when you're late, man, for a gig? Hey, man. Like your band was half the time. Would you please go down well, those stairs? Well, that band was, uh... I know. You, know you were the superstar. Mean, Would you please go down those stairs? Yeah, you're right. You're, you're, you're right. Know. The next time you say no, fuck you to me, I hope it's out there somewhere with no cameras around. I'll take your teeth out of your mouth and shove them through your nose. Yeah. Fucking asshole. Yeah, All right. We give you... We give you... We'll, if you give me, I love you. If I don't give you, I'm going to fuck you, right? Oh, right? No, man. It that way. You know. Get out of here. Get out of here! Don't 
You know, if he comes back now, he says, now, nah, won't you reconsider and I just turn to him and I say, you're on, you got it Thursday night. Well, I got to call my astrologer because, hey, this, the karma, I, it don't, I don't, it's not. <laughs> Oh, Bill. Bill? I might throw the whole thing out. Well, how can you fix it if you're sitting under this? You, you can't do that. Ronnie? You want to give us a hand, Ron? Pick it up. Okay. All right. Where? Where? Hold it. No, hold it. Hey, Dominic. Can we put it on something? All right, let's go. Hold it. Just this side. Not back there. Just on this corner. Let's go. Let's just hold it. Down. Easy. Got the finger in there? Okay. Okay? But when we start wheeling it around, what's going to happen? It's going to break again. Because, see, look here. We're bent down the end there. See where things have got to screw in. Huh? Check your pedal action. This is like the invasion of Normandy. It's a show. And there were four groups. And it was set, and it stays that way, unless, as always, I will give you that grain. If the two groups agree to the swap, do it. But unless I hear from you, cold blood goes on third. Okay. Tell me it's not real. Gary? Huh? No conversation. The whole conversation with Boz, he has to close. He wants to make an earlier yeah. plane. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow to go to New York. I don't want to close. All these principles that he had about being a headliner right. means nothing. Why? Earlier plane. You want to, you, the, the density of it all? And I'll show you how crazy it is because after all these years, this has happened for years and years. Do you know why it's always surprising? That's the gullibility in me. Because I say to myself, how can the mind function that way? With complete disregard and disrespect for everything else that goes on around. In other words, these things affect hundreds of people, right? They're invisible. All the other things mean nothing. No, let's see, should I see John Wayne at 11 on TWA or Lauren Bacall at 8 o'clock on United? I'll play third. I don't want to go. One of the great groups in the Bay Area that's been with us for a long, long time. Would you welcome, please, Cold Blood.
time does my son go on? And I said, about 11.30, and it was 9 o'clock. She says, do you mean I have to listen to all those loud noise? I said, no, we'll just fire the other groups right away so your son can play right away. I said, 11.30, madam. She you said, well, when you... This is true. Cavity, so Stand still. Like an idiot. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You get him on Wait the camera, so he clears his throat. So finally, his, wife, his mother leaves and goes into the building. She says, now, when you see my son, Michael, tell her I'm here. Now, you got to understand, Winterland, the stage is on the side. The stairs are right there, and 5,000 people are watching. I don't see Michael for another two hours, see? Two hours later, I see him, and I remember that his mother said, when you see Michael, to remind him that his mother's here. He's going up the stairs to the stage, right? And I see Michael, and I said, Michael, I forgot to tell you, my God, your mother's here, and she told me to tell you. He's going on to the stage, right? He says, well, 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 my mother said, tell him I'm not here. <laughs> the greatest story of my, of my life in rock and roll. Bill Graham. Tell him I'm not here.
Gonna make my own way Round the kind of misery I find Well, I've sent you my best Regards and the rest I leave up to your own sense of time Yes, I'm gonna get up And make my life shine I'm gonna get up And make my life shine Well, I've made up my mind To make my life shine Yeah, yeah from tomorrow you'll see classes at night and then followed three or four, oh, about four years of migrating to New York and back and here and in L.A. And every time I was rejected somewhere, I went, ran off to Europe and got bombed out for a couple of months. I came back again here in the early 60s and I went to work for Minnesota Mining and uh, then the Alice Chalmers Manufacturing Company. And I still had the theater bug and just didn't have the skill or the luck or the connections, whatever it is. And I wanted to become a good character actor. 
And uh, finally, I decided to try to combine the two, and I left uh, Alice Traumas, where I was a regional office manager, uh, and went to work for the San Francisco Meme Troupe, which was a radical theater company that did uh, shows in the parks free. Besides being the producer of the group, uh, I loaded the trucks, put up the posters, uh, put on some makeup, acted in the shows, struck the sets. I was the only full-time, everybody else was a student or a glad hand. But it was a great time, great experience, a lot of good spirit. And after a couple of years, the director and I, myself uh, went on the outs. And we had been busted for the park and our permit had been taken away for using foul language. And I think he said, shit, fuck, ridiculous, obscure language. Shortly after that, I left the meme troupe, and in February of 1966, I started the promo. And that was the beginning. By this time, I'd gotten to know a lot of the cinematographers and a lot of the poets and uh, some of the musicians in town. You get to meet them. Uh, you run crazy, you're going to be more crazy. Years. I go back some years with some of these gentlemen. I'd like to take a minute and introduce them individually on electric violin, Papa John Creech. <laughs> on drums, Mr. Sammy Piazza. On bass, a devil, devil, devil of a man, Mr. Jack Cassidy. The, on lead guitar, the sex symbol of Scandinavia, Mr. Yoma Kaukonen. Some good old friend, Hot Tuna.
Think it's going to be to be announced, and they say, "Well, we want a ticket anyway. We don't care who it is." Some people, I admit, have come to the window and said, "Is Santana playing?" And we said, "Nothing has been announced for the final night. We do not know." Now, the, these people have left. They have not bought tickets. In other words, we have not sold any tickets on the basis of Santana. were important and that they meant something to a lot of people. They were very much a part of the community and very special to the musicians and to the people who came to hear the musicians. Because there were so many groups, I began a Tuesday night program where we auditioned three new groups in front of the public so that the groups could get an audience response and we could at the same time see how good they were. And for years, Tuesday nights uh, were very warm, uh, community, uh, Get along.
is a light show that the group, a group wants to work with. Do you think it's my choice? Sometimes the group says, we're not playing for you unless there's a chicken sandwich waiting for you when I get to the dressing room. So you have your choice. You play them with having a chicken sandwich there, you don't play them. Fine, fine. But what you have to understand that the groups have switched around. You are not dealing with normal species. And when, they, when the Grateful Dead said, Bill, you asked us to come in, we'd love to help you close the place, that's the light show we want to use. What do I do? Say, you can't? You want me to be nice to you, they want me to be nice to them, and I got to burp somebody else. And everybody wants their shtick, and I'm caught in the middle. And I just came back with 9,000 pounds of work, and the only thing I got to be worried about is placating everybody. Now try to make it at least palatable so that they have Thursday, uh, Friday and Sunday, and you have Thursday and Saturday. Well, that isn't perfect for you because you got to move your equipment. Well, what about me? What about me? For years and years, everybody's wanted it their way. You ever think of me, Charlie? I want it my way, too. And that's why I'm getting my fucking ass out of here. Because i gotta give, I got to give up too much too often. And it's a pain in the ass for you because you got to move your equipment, right? But I'm on this fucking phone with all these yucks. And you are disturbed because you have to move your equipment. What, what have I said for months and months what's wrong with this business? That these groups have gotten to be too authoritarian and they have a right to be because money talks. Success, success controls. Why do you think I want out? Now, I have my choice. I can give you Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You will be the light show. But I'll find some local unknown because the Grateful Dead won't be there and Santana won't be there. Do you, are you now saying that that's what I should do? What choice do I have? I have a choice of having you do the light show and them not playing or have them playing with a different light show. Pray tell, what should I do?
Right. You know, all good things must come to you and to the lady. Good night. Good night to you, darling. <laughs> good night. See you soon, brother. Take care of the madam. Good night. Hope you enjoyed the show. It was a good show. I could have done much better myself. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Right up. I was very fortunate to have come along for this particular era at the right time in the right place. San Francisco was the burgeoning ground for the, uh, the new, open, extroverted joy for living. And even though it didn't hit full force till later, 66, 67, that was the beginning for me. It was also the beginning of that hate ashbury feeling, the people who uh, thought they invented the word love and vibes and uh, you know, created a chemical called flowers. Uh, it was new for them, but once they got into the swing of it, what a nice thing to be able to get someplace and let it all hang out, so to speak, just to have a good time. And the real uh, genuineness of the spirit didn't reach until 66, 67. But those are the first days, because they were experimenting with being loose at the beginning also. It's like, oh my God, it's safe here. And I can, uh, you know, eat my chocolate uh, cigarettes without anybody catching me, you know, and... Uh, I can hug a girl or I can uh, put paint on my face or I could put on goodwill clothes and somebody else and I can act that cavalierism. You know, there was a very nice uh, uh, feeling of open airness even though you were indoors. It was almost like an outdoor fair indoors. of years, people basically came to have a good time, whether they came by themselves, whether they came with, with a bunch of people, because when they got there, they knew that the, the majority of the rest of the people that came there came for the same reason. And it wasn't this, want to dance, honey? You know, my name is George, what's yours? Charlotte? Out of sight, Charlotte. No, they would walk in and if 10 people were dancing, they would join a circle, or they'd see one girl standing there, and, and they would just move. And they may not say anything to each other all night long. Or they may leave together. 
But if they didn't leave together, there was a thank you. Okay. That was a fantasy, but it was nice. And it was healthy. And nobody lost. And the key to those years for me was that everybody won and nobody lost. The musicians had a good time. The producer had a good time. The public had a good time. against you now. You gotta be very oh, careful. Right. Right. Nothing but the best to say. Yeah. This man is responsible for my being crippled for life. Show him your shoulders. Show him your shoulders. <laughs> Show him your shoulders. Show him your shoulders. Show Having gone for a pop fly. Well, I scored that game. This is a roadie. granddaddy of them all. I think he's the big papa bear of, of what rock music should have been. I think he and the group stand for what the utopia that never was, is, was. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do that tonight. You haven't been practicing? I haven't been practicing. Well, I got four of these solo down. I got around the world. And I can, uh, around. Listen to this dragon. You got a lot to show up with here tonight. Hey, man, I'm telling you. If I can he couldn't even get the thing to walk the other day, man. He couldn't even walk the dog the other day, but then now he's got strings. Now he's got to do it around the world. behind him, a pedal guitar behind him, go to the studio and work with somebody and conduct him with, or, or, or arranging it or producing the album. that's gone down. 
I'm very grateful to them for the joy they've brought to all of us. And I consider them friends, the Grateful Dead.
Armada. I was in Berlin until I was nine, and then in France till uh, from nine to twelve, and then eventually, you know, migrated uh, through France, uh, Spain, and Africa during the war. Yeah, forty-one. The, 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 the you know the whole uh, reverse of you know as people as as one country invades another, everyone just goes south, and uh, we refugees, uh, especially Jewish kids, you know, the if you were caught, you wanted to camps. 60-some-odd kids that uh, started out, 11 got to New York. And, 
in 11 lived. 11, not 11 lived. I mean, they, they, they were stopped along the way. And whatever, nutrition, uh, iron, exhaust, who knows? Who did you live with in New York when you got... I went to a foster home uh, orphanage building, and a few weeks later, uh, an American uh, Jewish family out of the Bronx came, and it was uh, the foster Jewish foster home bureau, and uh, they picked you up like 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 people went to a you know fine pet shop. But it, I don't mean it nastily. I mean they you know you know talk and, and walk, and, and this is my son. See if they can relate. I don't know if you call it amnesia. I have absolutely no recall of the first ten years really. I'm now beginning to, I don't know, have the faith in myself or the courage to even ask my sisters, because my sisters know I was raised with them in Berlin. And not with them, but in an orphanage, because my father passed away when I was very small, and I lived in an orphanage. They came to visit me on weekends, but a few weeks ago, my, my sister told me for the first time something that I was, I was dumbfounded. She said, you know, from the time you were five until you were nine, you took violin lessons. I said, you're, you're crazy. And uh, no, in the orphanage, they taught you how to play the violin. But, uh... See, all these years they wanted to talk about it, and I've always shied away from, no, I don't want to talk about it, and I don't know why. Now, lately, I've been trying to figure out more and more what makes me tick, you know, why did I close the film? Was, did I close because I was tired, or did I, is it, some, is it meant for me to go on to something else? Well, there's, there's something back there, and a lot of it has to do with how you were brought up, and I have no idea how I was brought up. <laughs> KSAN called me, said, we want to carry it live. I said, give it to all the FM stations. All the FM stations are doing it. And you know what? For the first time in years, they all talk to each other like human beings. In New York City, all the FM stations carried it. It was great. There was no problem with any group. The only group all week long that I've had any trouble with is Santana. The Grateful Dead calls the bill. We're playing. What time? How many tickets do we get for our friends? You got it. We'll see you there at 8 o'clock. Boom! Who created the problems? Who said, I want this light show? Who said, I want this other group? Who said, we've got to play Closing Night? Who said, the, 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 it can't be on the marquee? Nobody else except Santana. And the Grateful Dead have been around for a while, and Quicksilver's been around for a while. to create a negative pall over everything. The young people had everything over the years. They'd seen everybody over the years. And they'd also been surrounded by a world that never really became what they wanted it to become. The utopia never came. The streets were never full of flowers. White dreams of the aspen tree With its dying leaves Turning gold created a negativism, a defeatism, and a lot of the joy went out of the people who never made an attempt to change a lot of the things. They went around putting down the reality around them rather than relating to that reality. And when they tried to change it but couldn't create any change, a bitterness set in and a demand set in. A we want more and we want it now. And if we want to go into a place that somebody tells us not to, we will. Because we're the people. Might makes right. And 
the flowers wilted and the scene changed and the people reverted back to a way of life that always was before having lived through the disappointment of the flower generation. to Santana to protect their music than to give the community the pleasures of the closing night. Now tell me it's any different. The fear of a bootleg album, right, is going to stop you from joining your community and just saying, we're going to have a ball. And if there happens to be a bootleg album, big fucking deal. How many times have I lost my temper in public and I read about the vicious things I've done Hey, sometimes you go for a ride. That's what I don't understand. Because when you look at what you're laying down, the only thing that's important to you is we've got to protect our music. That isn't the most important thing, Sunday night. You know what Sunday night is? It's my party! <laughs> I can't guarantee nothing. A pink balloon, right? It's got to be a pink one. A pink one right now? Okay, well, I'll go look. There might be some out on the stage, but I don't want you to guarantee. I mean, I mean, I feel like as if I'm guaranteeing it, as it were. Because somebody might have grabbed all the pink balloons. But there was something in your in your in your closing column. Oh boy! The, was it the honesty part? Oh, uh, acting or putting on one of the putting on some kind of a air. You you twisted the. You're a paranoid, aren't you, Bill? You're fucking right, I am. Okay. <laughs> so you said something in your column. I wish I had it now, because I would destroy you right on this film. <laughs> but I can't think of what it was. You get cute sometimes. That's what bothers me. You get you get cute in your column, and then. It bothers me, and I can't remember what it was then. But what is it? You couldn't leave well enough alone, and you stuck a zinger in there somewhere, and I can't you mean remember what it was. about the sun shining on your feet? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. I'm sorry there aren't any pink ones. <coughs> is the white one okay? Can you still play with the white one? Yeah? That one. Thank you. 
all set now, finally. The, the only thing to change on the marquee as it reads now is where it says Wednesday, Cold Blood, Bon Skaggs. Turn the two names around, make it B Skaggs and C Blood. Just change the two names around. Now, as far as selling tickets is concerned, Vicky, yeah. you want to call the stations and give them that schedule now? And that's it, so you can push Wednesday. <laughs> yes. So Wednesday... Um, yeah, now, the Sunday, I'm, I, I keep thinking about that. Do you think... I don't know why we don't hold those tickets, because then they're going to say, Bill, you know we're playing Sunday, why are you selling the tickets? So let's leave it at that, and it'll be tomorrow night, and I'll hit the radios with it now, and uh, there's no disrespect intended on any part. It's a solution, and uh, I don't think anybody will, every, anybody will get hurt, and I think everybody will gain. Okay? I'll, I'll take care of that. You take it from here. Thanks, Jim. Mm. Bill? Lamb, $1,000, spare change. They're not going to get out of Boston if I don't give them the $1,000. Don't get out of Boston. Let one of them get out of Boston. Five gags on 13. He's going to cancel. Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay. Am I, am I wrong in thinking that 15 minutes ago you said yes, and on the basis of your yes, I called everybody, the marquee has changed, the newspapers have been called, the radio stations have been called, and everything has been done. Now what you're saying is that you can say something, then change your mind? When did I ever change my mind in all the years that you've known me? Ever. Let us assume that I was misinformed. And then I spoke to you a few minutes ago, and I said, I have a problem with cold blood, would you play second? And you said no. I said, fine, I'll talk to them. And I spoke to you back. I said, I convinced them that they would go on second. And I said, I, ask, I have a favor to ask of you. Would the, and I mentioned to you the bonus situation. And I said, at least could we give them the marquee? And you said, no, I've earned the right to headline, and I want a headline. But I couldn't do that because of the time element. But I, I said, and please don't tell me, I'll tell you later, because I've got the people standing in front of the theater right now. I don't know exactly how many, but there are 489. Here, honey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There you go, honey. Get it on. Get it on. Get it on. <laughs> No, 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 wait, did, wait a minute, did you not say to me, that's the way I want it, and I tried to explain it to you, let's give them something, they have been a headliner here many times, I finally got them to agree to come in second to you, would you give them their name in front of yours on the marquee, and you said no, I said, Boz, that's going to make it very difficult for me. I said, this is a special week to me. We're closing the place. We're having nothing but San Francisco groups. Could you do that? And you will close the show, because it took me a long time to convince them to play in the middle of the night. You said no. And I gave you my feelings. And this is where you and I disagree. When you got my feelings, you thought I was disrespectful. And mister, that's where I think you're wrong. I said, I wish I could tell you to go fuck yourself, but I can't because of the conditions. I want you to play here. It is the final week. It means a great deal to me to have the best of the San Francisco music available. This week does mean a great deal to me. And the fact that it doesn't rub off on you that way amazes me. But if I didn't tell it to you, then I'm not an honest man. I can be the biggest putz in the world and yell a lot. But I ain't dishonest. And I will always tell you how I feel. We don't have the space. Well, I don't know. No problem. Well, just because you've decided that you'd like to play and we're honest with you in saying there is no room, there's no room. Well, I don't know what to say to that. Except, what you, what know, you have to say to that is you respect well, another man's honesty. Well, no, I respect that, man. I respect the fact that, you know, I just wanted to hear from you, man, you know, because we've been trying to get a hold of you for, you know, I weeks. Mean, I've been you know, gone for weeks. You know, and I can dig it, you know, that, that you're busy, man. But at the same time, you know, like this thing's being billed as... as uh, Closing week. Yeah, of San Francisco San Francisco, and San Francisco, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah, man. Do you and see I've been here since the fucking yeah, beginning, but, man. Do you see and, any non-San uh, Francisco groups? Well, but I see people like Sal Valentino. I see 
group nuts, man. And, and what, what do they got to do with, with I've, I've the heard, old... I've heard the groups, and I like the groups. It's, it's my... Yeah, well, I've heard group myself, man, and I think they sound like they've been together for about a week, man. Well, we true. outdraw them over in Berkeley, man. That's a I went and saw them, you know? I'm not arguing with you. And I looked at the house, and then, I, then we played three nights later at the New Orleans house on a weeknight, man. We got... You know, we, got, we got a, we got a, you know, we got a, we got a really good crowd, you know. You know, one of the rights of a producer, that he chooses the shows he wants to put on, and these are the shows I've decided to put on. I've never seen your band, and I have a right to put the groups on that I've seen and that I like, that I think will bring the public some pleasure. I'm not saying yours won't, but I haven't seen it. Yeah. Well, that's my problem. But I haven't yeah. been here, and I've been gone for the last few weeks. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, I don't know. I just like to say. Uh, Fuck you and thanks for the memories, man, you know. Really? You know? Maybe sometime, you know, go here. You know? No, under those circumstances, never, sweetheart. Never. Oh, oh man. No, no, no. You take your fucking attitude, yo yo, and get out hey, of here. No, room. hey, man. It isn't, a, it isn't a question of that, man, you know? The next time you say fuck you to me, you wouldn't be wearing that jacket. Oh, well, man, you said it to me, man, yeah. you know? Yeah. You know what well, I said to you when you're late, man, for a gig? Hey, man. Like your band was half the time. Would you please go down well, those stairs? Well, that band was, uh... I know. You, know you were the I mean, superstar. Would you please go down those stairs? You're right. Listen, You're right. Know. The next time you say fuck you to me, I hope it's out there somewhere with no cameras around. Now take your teeth out of your mouth and shove them through your nose. Fucking asshole. We give you... We give you... If you give me, I love you. If I don't give you, I'm a fuck you, right? Oh, man. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. You know, if he comes back now, he says, now, won't you reconsider and I just turn to him and I say, you're right. Now, when I wake up early at night, can't go back to you.
I gotta call my astrologer because hey, this the karma. I, it don't. I don't. It's not. <laughs> Bill? Oh, how can you fix it if you're sitting under this? You, you can't do that. Ronnie? Want to give us a hand, Ron? Okay. All right. Where? Hold it now. Hold it. Hey, Dominic. Can, can we put it on something? Let's go. Hold it. Just this side. Not back there. Just on this corner. Let's go. Let's just hold it. Down. Easy. Okay, good. Okay? But when we start wheeling it around, what's going to happen? It's going to break again. Because, see, look here. We're bent down the end there. See where things have got to screw in. Huh? Check your pedal action. This is like the invasion of Normandy. It's a show. And there were four groups. And it was set. And it stays that way. Unless... As always, I will give you that grain. If the two groups agree to the swap, do it. But unless I hear from you, cold blood goes on third. Okay. Tell me it's not real. Gary? The whole conversation, the whole conversation with Boz, he had to close. He wants to make an earlier yeah. plane. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow to go to New York. I don't want to close. All these principles that he had about being a headliner means nothing. Why? Earlier planes. You want to, you want to, the, the density of it all? And I'll show you how crazy it is because after all these years, this has happened for years and years. Do you know why it's always surprising? That's the gullibility in me. Because I say to myself, how can the mind function that way? With complete disregard and disrespect for everything else that goes on around. In other words, these things affect hundreds of people, right? They're invisible. All the other things mean nothing. No, let's see, should I see John Wayne at 11 on TWA or Lauren Bacall at 8 o'clock on United? I'll play third. I don't want to go. Uh, Ronnie, One of the great groups in the Bay Area that's been with us for a long, long time. Would you welcome, please, Cold Blood.